what's up, Cancer Leo? Welcome to the channel. Brian the Divine Healer here with you. About to bust a move on your reading. Right? So let me just uh, shuffle up these cards real quick and we'll get into it. Right? Hope you're doing well. Don't mind the banging upstairs. Turn on my light. Give it that nice yellow glow. Alright, All right, so I'm going to just shuffle these two decks up here real fast and we'll get right into your reading. Okay. A little stubbornness going on here. Tiny bit. Yeah, see? Some kind of difficulties going on. Alright, well, let's hammer this out and then we'll figure out what's going on. Alright? Let me just shuffle this one time up. Maybe two. First card out. Two ones. Two ones. You're being guided for a choice here. And it's gonna be it's like a soul choice, a passionate choice, right? And that birdie represents, you know spirit guide, spirit ancestors, whatever you want to call it. But you're being led to make some kind of choice, a decision. Seven of Swords. Well, this is like taking on too much, right? She has five swords in her hand and then two that she can't put up, but she's trying to get, right? Because she's looking right at him. Mm. This is a very interesting kind of energy that mm, is shady, meaning mm, it's masked. I'm not picking up exactly right on it, so. Interesting. Let me, um... Put your first card here. Ace of Pentacles is your first card of your story. So what I feel here with this two of wands, it's like you're gonna have to make a choice to, um, I don't want to say not take on too much. I think you have to take on more. Yeah. You have to take on more than what you are now if you want this opportunity. Okay, this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, because sometimes I don't, I don't go off the definitions and I don't have to have the card upside down to tell me this reverse energy, right? And so it's the same for the visuals of the pictures, right? <coughs> so it's kind of in reverse. I mean, and instead of trying to take on too much, you have to take on too much. This is why that two wants is there to make that choice, okay? Let's keep ironing this out a little bit here. And we'll press on. Because this Ace of Pentacles definitely is uh, the yellow brick road, my friends. And this is going to lead you to some pretty good abundance. Seven Cups. But you're having some kind of mixed emotions. Okay, so with this pentacles, it doesn't always have to be about money, right? Because it really represents the stability. And we have stability in many forms. Okay, so let's see what these mixed emotions are. Because he is really looking at what's going on. Yeah, Eight of Swords, you're definitely confused. Emotionally and mentally. You're trapping yourself in your head because you're letting your emotions take over. Why? Because you have to take on more of a more of a load, more responsibility, more you know things, however that fits in your life. I'm not sure exactly what those things are, but you are carrying a lot of responsibilities at this time. Or you're being there's a choice that you're gonna have to make and it's burdening you. Like, Seriously, your mind is like wrapped out. Okay, so you have the five of pentacles here. And the reason why you're overthinking is because you're worried about being left out in the cold for something, okay? And so this could now be turning into some finances because we have the ace of pentacles with the five of pentacles, okay? 
So you're having mixed emotions about putting in extra to get this opportunity and you're in your head about if I don't do it then I'm going to be left out in the cold. So it's kind of like your hands are tied, right? With something that has to do with making a choice. And we'll get there. We'll figure it out for sure because my readings always do. So sit back, relax, hit that like button for me and let's get it, let's get it going. All right, devil card comes right out. Boom. The devil's in the house. This is self-sabotaging energy, clearly. Clearly it's self-sabotaging energy. This is this is what you're bringing on to yourself. Because you're not making this choice, or you're, you're going to have to be... Well, let me rephrase that. You have not made it yet, but you're being guided to make it, right? And it all has to do with stability, so... You're definitely self-sabotaging yourself by keeping yourself in this eight of swords overthinking head kind of mentality and with the seven of cups you're totally like mixed emotions so you're all over the place and this is the self-sabotage part okay all right so now we come to the, to the lovers part okay lovers is like it's the duality of yourself, right? So it's like you have to get a check on yourself, right? Check as in balancing both sides out, which would be your logic and your emotions, okay? Because the emotions are typically like the feminine, and then the, you know, the logic is like the, um, you know, masculine. I'm not trying to be stereotypical and say that women aren't smart and men aren't emotional. Don't even go there. You put that stuff in my comments, I'm going to watch out. It's a balance of your dualities. And clearly here, your logic and your emotions are in question as far as being out of whack. And so that's representative of that lover's card, putting those two together. Because there is a feminine and a masculine in there. Let's keep going explain myself huh all right <laughs> that's my good puppy dog she's just my baby dog okay seven of swords here we go again you're lying to yourself you're only cheating yourself okay so now i'm gonna apply some of the tarot definition to that right seven of swords lying cheating still trying to get away with something Clearly, now you are only lying to yourself because that matches with the devil card, which is the self-sabotage. I'm telling y'all, it's sabotage. <laughs> All right. The Ten of Pentacles. This could be... Something to do with family, maybe? So now with the devil card out here and then the seven of swords, you're like lying to people. People in your family. Ten of Pentacles is family. Look, it's got family up in there. I'm trying to get away with something. Lying. Saying you're balanced, but that is the self sabotage with the devil card. So you're putting on a front, a mask, all because you don't want to make this decision. Mm, what are you doing over there? I can't lie to your own family. Oh boy. Okay. Don't be mad at me because I find out your stuff, right? You just give me that energy and I interpret it. So it's your stuff. I'm just helping you try to fix it. Okay. All right. Here we go. We got the Nine of Cups. So. Interesting. Oh, what are you doing? This is some kind of wish fulfillment that you have that you're lying about, you're hiding, you're, you're self-sabotaging because you're not trying to make a decision, okay? And then you have the Eight of Swords straight on top of that Nine of Cups. So you're in your head about your wish fulfillment. And 
so you're totally lying to your family about something that has to do with this wish fulfillment because we have the lovers on the table i ain't saying it's a twin or soulmate because it's still your du duality is your emotions and logic aren't put together but you're making it seem like you are and you're like oh i'm good everything's fine la, 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 la. but that's a lie nine of pentacles nine of cups nine of pentacles Interesting. Told you this was a little tricky because the, the energy is masked. You're not really showing all of your energy. Ooh, you sneaky sneak. It's because we get the devil card out here. So you're in your ego, you're hiding some shit. Surely. This something speaks about independence. Maybe you have such a like a family kind of scenario where you want to your wish fulfillment like to break free from that family circle, that family unit, and become independent. You want to fly free like birds. In the sky. Wow. Come on with the cards already getting all flippity floppity over here. Dropping them on this side, dropping them on that side. What the hell? I've seen the Empress. <laughs> Alright. Stop already, fussy pants. Stay. <laughs> Let's get your next card. Oh yeah, with this page of swords. You're ready to go. Page of swords. It's like you know that you have to make this choice. Maybe break off from a family unit to become independent. Because this is kind of your wish fulfillment that you have wrapped up in your head with. So maybe all this relates to the Ace of Pentacles. This is being your freedom. Tied down, right? Meaning, not saying your media family like your husband and your kids, but if you're like a grown adult and you've got your parents and you're taking care of them and their needs and, you know, you got your own kids and then your neighbor's kids and, you know, all that kind of goes with that. Um, yeah, you just want to break free. I want to break free. Wow. Well, you're definitely ready to go. Maybe you have a little bit of a conversation, too. Let's see, let's pull another card. Ba -ba -ba -ba. The Magician. So, I think you've been trying to find a way to manifest something, to maybe keep the illusion going. Wow, this is... You got your swimmies on? Because we're diving in deep. <laughs> Definitely looking into ways to manifesting something, maybe keeping the illusion because the magician is a trickster. Pulls the rabbit out of the hat. Where the hell did you get the rabbit from, right? Seven of Cups again. Yeah, you're circling, you're looking for options. Options to keep this kind of facade going. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to really, what is this really decision about? Wow, this is a big one. I mean, it even could relate to a twin flame. That you've been lying about. Because they're your real wish fulfillment. So I think you've been lying to your family about this person who is your twin that you wish fulfillment, right? Um, and you and they're single. 
for some of y'all that are dealing with that, this is still the lying to your family about being okay but not because you're mentally and emotionally not right. I mean, <laughs> you're not stable in this moment, okay? You're just having a tough time with things, okay? Let's so say you need a, a check-in or nothing, all right? So now we get the, the page of pentacles out here. Okay, so somebody's going to offer you some kind of information, a message about some kind of options, right? Or maybe you do, right? Maybe, maybe you say, hey, hey, I got a way to fix this, okay? Maybe they caught on. I don't know. It's still really a little hazy. But we're going to keep going like a trucker on the highway in 95, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Blow that horn. Beep, beep. Hit the like button, right? There it is. Four wands. Well, this is like structure of stability, right? This is giving you giving you those four walls to uh, keep your house together, right? Um, so somebody gives you, somebody lets you know about some kind of option that's going to really um, bring some stability and structure to back to your family unit because you've been looking for options in ways to, I don't know, maybe have your independence and still deal with your family at the same time. I don't know. This is really weird. Right, ten of uh, swords. Okay, so this is going to end any kind of betrayals and, and lies and the backstabs that, unfortunately, that you were portraying. Okay, so that's good. That's good. I like that part of the ending. Right, it's finally done with all that magic stuff. Right, so you're just going to hang tight. You got the hangman right here. There's, there's going to be a pause before all this happens, okay? So before you actually get to have that option that somebody's going to help you, they're going to talk to you about it and tell you that you have an option in a way to maintain your independence to go for what you want as your wish fulfillment while still not having to wear the mask, self-sabotage yourself to hide and get it, get, you know, not tell your whole family everything. It's a big one. All right, so now the no, is that the nine of wands? Yeah, the nine of wands. Okay, so this is okay. So you're gonna get a little bit of a beating. Okay, is that wounded warrior <clears throat> by you know coming out? Speaking your truth, talking about what you want as your wish fulfillment. Maybe you were burdened by your family, you know, because the devil card doesn't have to relate to you. It could be to the family, right? That was trying to do this because a lot of times in the readings, I'll have the energy separated. So it'll be either you here with what you're dealing with or over here, and the person you're dealing with or the people. It's always switched up like that, right? All right, let's keep on going. All right, page of cups, here comes the I'm sorry. All right, so this is why you have to hang back a little bit in this energy to feel a little more stable and taking your steps to bring this kind of conversation after finding out other resources, other ways to bring this to some kind of closure, some kind of ending, and putting, putting it in the past, okay? But there is an apology that has come out, and I really believe it's from you. We'll get the last card here and call it a day for you, okay? Yeah. Queen of Cups, okay. Okay, they love you no matter what. Okay, Queen of Cups, that's a loving, loving person, has that cup ready, you know, full of emotions. So this helps you bring back some of the emotions that you were kind of mixed on in the beginning, definitely getting out of your head. Good for you. Clearing this up with your family regarding with uh, the help of somebody else, okay? Because the magic show can't go on unless you have the props, right? So this person that tells you an option and to get a little more stable with some things ends your burdens. So you're going to hang out in that feeling of stable now that you have a solution to not only settling things with your family unit, but with what your wish fulfillment is, okay? So, that has been your reading, my friends. That was crazy, right? Yeah, 
deep diving on that one for sure hit that like button subscribe become part of this divine family tell your friends tell your family tell your neighbors right tell the mailman all about my channel bring them all over right spread them on your social medias and uh definitely definitely subscribe become part of the family check out my memberships check out my playlists i got like a ton of videos like almost 3,000 videos for y'all to check it out it's all neatly organized in some playlists enjoy that my friends binge it enjoy the rest of your sunday be blessed be brave be well peace and pray my friends i'll see you again